Hello my friends and welcome to a new video about the Baofeng UV5R Mini or in my case the GT5R Mini. Today I want to talk about the uh, smartphone app which is called the Ola Radio. Uh, you can see it here on the left hand side, it's the OLA Radio app. So let me click on it and start it. And yeah of course I have to turn on Bluetooth and uh, this is the start page of the app. On the radio you have to go to the menu and turn on wireless CPS. Uh, turn it on. Let's get out of here. On the start page of the app you can find hot products. Uh, all bow things here, all handheld transceivers. Yeah, and to add a new device, uh, click on Devices, Add Device. Then it scans for devices nearby, and here is the walkie talkie. Let's say Connect. And in my case, let's see if it can auto detect the device. Uh, identifying this may take a while yeah, and after about 30 seconds uh, it was not able to identify it so let's get out of here let's go back and now the app is is hanging okay let's try this one more time let's restart the app devices it says it's connected uh, okay, it's asking for the model. That's a 5R Mini. Hit OK. And then I have to check this box. I have carefully uh, read and complete the steps above. Let's hit pair. And here is my bow thing. Yeah, what I forgot to mention, um, you have to uh, register. So you uh, need an account to use the app uh, after the install um, you get asked to set up an account so without uh, yeah, creating an account it's not possible to use the app yeah in my case my uh, turbo tracker id is the number up here uh, you can read some details if you, if you click on it you can log out whatever Let's go back to devices, then click on or tap on the walkie talkie. And I want to read and write frequencies. Let's hit that. And you can see on the radio, first of all, uh, the LED starts uh, blinking. And on the display, it says program. And um, this will take a while. And after about 30 seconds or so, you get the message read successful. And as you can see, I have already programmed some repeaters in here. To change the configuration, tap on modify config. And here you can see my channels. You can switch to a list view and then it looks like that. And to program a channel, let's say I want to program a repeater in channel 6, tap on channel 6. Then you can enter a channel note or a channel name. In my case, this is Oscar Echo 1 uh, X-Ray Uniform Uniform. That's a repeater in Vienna. Yeah, and here comes the fun part, because you cannot enter the coma because the app is expecting a dot. That's a problem. Uh, I give you an example. The RX frequency, so that's, uh, that's the downlink from the repeater, is on 438. Uh, and now you, I, I want to hit, the, or I hit the, the comma. Nothing happens. And if I start typing uh, number 950, that's not working. So there's a trick. Now I have to click on TX frequency. Then the application is filling uh, up the rest with uh, zeros. Then I 
tap on air x frequency again then i delete the zeros and now i can enter 950 to complete uh, the input i tap on tx frequency and my tx frequency that's the uplink to the repeater is on 431 and here is the same funny little thing uh, no way to to enter the dot or the comma so i have to click on or tap rx frequency again then it's the same game um, the rest is filled up with zeros then i tap on tx frequency again i delete the zeros and then i enter 350 and now i have both frequencies programmed so Baofeng or uh, yeah the developer of the app please correct this we need a dot down here and not the coma and in case of the OE1XUU repeater we also need a TXCTCSS which is uh, 162.2 I guess so let's hit confirm bandwidth is wide or narrow I'll confirm it's wide no I don't want to add this to a scan list or to, to the scan list signaling code whatever this means I don't know I don't need it uh, there are 20 signaling codes uh, let's hit confirm I don't need the DTMF encoder um, not sure what frequency hopping means uh, PTDID that means you can uh, transmit your ID uh, at the start or at the end of your transmission or at both um, doesn't make any sense for me I don't need it so I let, uh, keep it uh, on off busy lockout uh, so if uh, there is a signal detected you cannot transmit uh, and that's okay let's hit next and now I'm on channel 7 and I can start over again with the next repeater let me get out of here and in the next step I write to the device uh, then you have to wait for a couple of seconds let's try this one more time right oops yeah let's get back here save plan you can um, save this in the application my plan is called uh, 5r mini hey come on uh, hit confirm okay scheme uh, schema already exists um, let's choose another name let's call the plan oe 4 j h w and what's what can i select here all now there's only all available if i tap on all there's nothing behind let's hit confirm and now the plan is saved i don't know what is saved and where it is saved but um, yeah hopefully it is saved somewhere let's uh, tap on write to device you have to wait five seconds till this agree button becomes uh, solid blue and yeah there are some regulations blah 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 so the stuff i do not read let's click on write to device writing and you can see the led is flashing green which means it is writing uh, during reading it is flashing red and this was much faster than reading and the device restarts and this should be okay let me see let's go to memory mode if Three, two, i can one, six. yeah six is oe1 xuu and it's working what else do we have here um, in frequency mode you can set the uh, simplex frequencies i'm in vfo here so band a and band b where is band b um, cannot see ah, down here is band b 
if I go to uh, VFOB, I'm on 433.500. So that's, that's what this uh, uh, set here in frequency mode and in function settings, you can find all of the functions uh, which you can uh, find here in the menu. Uh, for the video, I've turned the backlight time to always on. Let me change this. I have to set modify configuration again. Function settings. Um, and then backlight time. Let's change this to 20 seconds again. And let's write to device again. Uh, let me check if I need to change something else. Uh, I guess uh, not. Menu quit time. Maybe I set this to also to 20 seconds. Yeah, and here is the key one short. That's the, the key button here at the side. Um, let's keep let's keep it on radio and then let's write to the device again agree and it's writing radio is restarting and uh, yeah and that happened to me all the time the application now says connection dropped if i get out of here uh, it says connected. Okay, now it's working. Okay, last time I tried this, uh, the app was uh, telling me device connected, but I was not able to get into uh, the device or, uh, in the app. Um, maybe it was my uh, fault, I'm not sure. Yeah, the only annoying thing here is to, uh, come on, get in here. Here we go. Uh, the only annoying thing is um, programming the frequency. So please, Baofeng, if you uh, see my video, please make an update for this application. Uh, it's really, really annoying that I cannot enter the dot here um, and I cannot enter the frequency. I have to change to TX, then hit RX again, delete the zeros and enter the other frequency and vice versa. That's really, really annoying. Hope you will fix this uh, soon, Bao Feng. Yeah, and there's one more thing. Um, there is no way to delete a channel here. I mean, I can switch to the list and try to... Can I swipe over here? No. There is no way to delete channel 7 now. So you have to go into channel 7, in this example, and clear everything uh, let's delete let's delete the frequency hey come on now here we go you have to uh, delete the frequencies and then yeah go back again and now channel 7 is deleted if there is anything here in here in rx frequency or tx frequency uh, then it will be safe to the device so there's no way to delete a channel here in the list. Um, so yeah, that's another point. Baofeng, maybe you can add a select button somewhere or select and then you select channels and hit on delete and they are deleted. Um, there is some room for improvement. Okay, folks, that's it for today. Thanks for watching 73, all the best. And uh, yeah, till next time. Bye-bye.